All right, thanks everybody for joining us. We're here with the doubles champions, the first time team, the wild cards, uh, Will Bloomberg and Jack Sock. We'll go ahead and start with Bill Koch. Bill, you can ask the first question. First thing guys, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, for Jack first, uh, you know, your first win since 2018, I, I know you've dealt with, with injuries. You took some time away from the game. Um, you know, process being what it is, daily improvement being what it is, how nice is it to have that work validated with, uh, you know, getting back in the winner's circle here today? Uh, yeah, it means a lot, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been an unfortunate two years, really. Obviously, 2018, I just didn't play that great after, you know, my, my best year in 17. But 2019, the, the thumb surgery and being out for, you know, basically the whole year and then um COVID hitting it's been uh it's been a definitely an interesting couple of years a lot like you said a lot of time away from the sport um and a lot of time to reflect and regroup um and and like I've said this week I think I feel better physically and mentally now than I have in in a long time and uh, I'm just very very excited to be back on tour um to be winning matches and and um and my confidence is high right now even if my ranking you know doesn't represent you know, kind of how I'm playing. I feel like uh, I feel good in, in the matchups that I have, and I'm really excited for the summer to, to keep proving um, that I'm on my way back. Crazy sunburned, or is it the lighting? Look at, look at. <laughs> and, you know, William, obviously this, you know, Rhode Island's a special place for you. Obviously you spent summers here as a kid in Little Compton. Did, does it feel in some way appropriate that your first ATP title comes here? Yeah, it's almost like too appropriate. I don't know how it happened, but uh, you know, it's an honor to play with Jack. It was an honor to play in front of my family. Uh, honestly, it was just awesome to play in front of my grandparents and a lot of my family that can't travel. Um, so that, especially with the, the COVID year and kind of everything going on, it's always, you know, amazing to play in front of family, but play in front of a few special people, uh, it's just awesome. So, and, and on top of that, to get a win is, is just amazing and an honor. And, and, uh, I just thank Jack for playing with me and, uh, yeah, it was a great week. Looks like we have a new reporter in a backwards hat. Yeah, I think you guys, you guys have seen him. So we'll go ahead and go to him. So uh, he's a good up and coming tennis historian. Maddox, do you have a question? Make sure you unmute Maddox. Okay, I do have a question. Um, can I ask two, one for Bloomberg and one for Jack? You got it, no problem. Okay, um, this one's for Bloomberg. Who's better at golf, you or Jack? I think it depends on the day. No, I don't know. He's, he's, he's being modest. <laughs> anyway. I think that uh, me and Jack have played mostly as a, as a team, so I would, I would say that uh, given today's uh, result, too, we, we work pretty well as a team, and uh, you know, getting out on the golf course with Jack and, and dominating opponents is probably my favorite <laughs> thing on the planet. So. <laughs> okay. Um, this one is for Jack. Hello, my friend. Who? Who is, who is better at Fortnite, you or Bloomberg? Uh, I mean, it's a, he's being modest in the golf. He's sure, by Jack. far better than me in golf. Uh, he's actually a freak, you know, um, uh, club champion actually at Sakonic Golf Club. So um, that speaks for itself. And then I'll have to take, I might have to take the trophy in Fortnite. Heavy sniper. Um, yeah, put a heavy sniper in my hand. This guy's got no chance. Um, so. <laughs> No, we, like you said, we work well together on Fortnite. We're a team on the golf course. We're a team and, and, uh, we teamed up this week and, and, um, had a special week. So yeah, anytime we can uh, partner up, I think we'll take our chances. All right. Thank you so much, Maddox. Thanks, Maddox. Thanks. Appreciate it. No problem. All right. Who are you write for, by the way? Sorry. Who are you with as a journal journalist? Um, Buggy Tennis Academy. <laughs> and independent um <laughs> can, I, can i ask one more question not video game or video game or other sport related yeah tennis related? Well, you got one more you got it maddox okay um jack how how do you feel about um my dad alex bogomold jr coaching you uh <laughs> Although he says the name, it's, <laughs> it's so proper. Um, it's uh, your father, Alex Bogomolov Jr., is um, <laughs> he's the man. He, uh, like I said, out there on the court, I think um, the combination between between your dad and, and your family and, and my wife and, um, you know, kind of the the routine and, and team we have in Charlotte now, uh, without you guys, I probably would be still overweight and not playing much tennis. Um, so <laughs> I think uh, it's been incredible, incredible having your support. Not many people 
uh, and Laura can attest this, not many people believed in me a couple years ago or wanted to take the chance um, and kind of grind through the tough times to get back to, to moments like this. So um, it means a lot. And uh, I think, like we said, it's kind of just the beginning, hopefully the beginning of the second half of, of my career. Mm. All right. Thank I don't you know. for your time. Thank you, Mr. Independent. I, I don't know <laughs> if Nina can follow that, but we'll go to Nina. It's going to be hard. Um, how did you guys first team up? I think you might have the North Carolina connection, but how did you guys first team up uh, for this week? To play in this tournament? Yeah. I mean, I think it probably went somewhere like I got on my hands and knees and begged for him to play <laughs> with me. But no, we were just talking and I was like, hey, do you think, you know, we were texting like, would you ever, you know? And uh, we just kind of talked about it. We talk all the time, whether we're sending, you know, videos about golf or whatever. So, uh, yeah. I, don't know. I actually think it started on Fortnite a couple years ago. I said, as yeah. soon as you graduate from North Carolina, which could be never, but as soon as you do, then we're uh, we're going to play as soon as you get on tour. So um, we were had the chance. Obviously, him, you know, being a lo localish guy uh, from this area, you know, helped, and and the opportunity from the tournament was awesome, um, and we're appreciative of it, and uh, hopefully backed up the wild card. Maybe. And um, Will, you host a podcast and Jack was your first guest and then Chase Rice was your last guest. Did you stop because you couldn't do better than that start and finish? <laughs> I stopped because I'm lazy. But uh, no, I just kind of got lost during this year. The, the pandemic year at school, finishing the season was kind of tough. I was, I was pretty distracted and it's something that I want to get back to. I will. Uh, Jack kind of helped me out. I asked him, I said, hey, would you come on and be my first guest? And he was great and nice enough to do it. So it's something I enjoy. I should do it more. I, I probably will now start picking it up. I'll say that, you know, probably for another three months before I do it. But uh, <laughs> I will do it and it's fun. But it has been an, an amazing group of people. Very cool. All right, we'll go back to Bill. Uh, for Jack, obviously, you, you've played a lot of tennis with and against Vasek and, and done a fair amount of winning with him as well, you know, grand slams and uh, in doubles. Can you just speak to what it was like going against him today and, you know, maybe some of uh, the insights that you had into his game that might have helped you guys today? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've obviously um, we had an incredible start to, to our pairing together uh, with Wimbledon and Atlanta and, and uh, we were on a hot streak to start and we had a lot of incredible moments on the court together. Um, uh, and then obviously he stayed on tour and I took my little hiatus <laughs> from it all. So um, it's nice to be back, you know, be back on, on, you know, playing in these tournaments and to be playing, you know, the best players in the world. And, and um, yeah, it was definitely different, you know, playing against him. I don't know if we've really played against each other that much, uh, um, but it's, uh, it's always fun. I think we, you know, we always have those incredible moments that we can look back to together and, um, and as for the insights, I mean, he probably thought I would give him more. I don't really talk a lot of strategy, to be honest. I think we say we just stick to our to our weapons and try to use those well. And um, it's kind of it, it kind of all happens quick, anyways. In doubles, it's more of a feel thing. You got a you know split second decision. So um, other than that, yeah, we just went out there and, and honestly just had fun and, and kept it light and, and played well. Thanks, guys. All right, I believe that will be it. We have no other questions. So congratulations to our team. Cool.